Good afternoon, Eric. Um, we got the news yesterday about more defensive injuries, but can you give us an update first on Marcus Rashford and Scott McTominay and whether they're available this weekend? Um, Scott, I don't think so. Uh, we, we have a training, uh, so we have a day. He will, uh, he will push. He, uh, he's so keen uh, to be part of it tomorrow. But um, I think it's... Uh, yeah, I don't, so it's very questioning. And then um, uh, Resford, Rest he trained yesterday. See how we uh, recovered from, from it today. And yeah, we will another training today and then we will make the decision on it. Defensively, we know that Rafa Varane and Johnny Evans are going to be missing this weekend. That's been... Centre-back has been a particular problem for you all season long. Well, not only centre-backs, also the left full-back position. In terms of the centre-back in particular, though, how important has Harry Maguire's experience been? Because he was close to leaving last summer. Are you, are you glad now that he didn't? Because he's got such an important role to play now. Uh -huh. You have to see that in perspective. Um, so we were always happy uh, with, uh, with Harry Maguire. But yeah, he wants to play. And uh, he's, a, he's a great leader, he's um, a, a very good uh, defender, um, uh, so very comfortable on the ball, yeah. And when I count all those abilities, yeah, just now and when we are in our defending line, we have our problems, yeah, then he's uh, even more important uh, to, to, to lead that line, um, to make us play from the back. Um, yeah, so we are very pleased he's there um, and we need him uh, to get our results and to achieve our, uh, our, our targets. Um, John Murta's departure this week, Eric, can I just ask you, I know that there is a, a structure in place um, now that he has moved on, how that will impact your plans and your thoughts and your ideas for the remainder of this season but also going forward into the new season as well? I think you mentioned that something up in the new season. Um, it's um, very important that so the, the new ownership is working on this and uh, they have to replace at this function um, to go into the new, uh, new season. Uh, for the moment, yeah, of course, I miss his support and now um, uh, the surround board. You miss that, um, but yeah, uh, he moved on. Uh, there, has been made choices, so I work very good. To, uh, to, we work very good together. So um, I would say thank you to John, and I wish him all the best for the future. You say you miss his support, and obviously you work closely with him. But putting your own plans in place as well, does it impact at all on on what you want to do? No, for me, as I said previously, uh, I also I work with the new ownership very good and closely together. Um, and that will not change. It doesn't have impact on the way I can work here. And so conditions were perfect and are still perfect. Um, so I, I'm happy that. In, but yeah, uh, we want to set the right conditions to be successful. Mickey. Eric, how, how difficult has it been not to have a, a settled back four pretty much throughout the whole of the season? Has that um, hampered the way that you've had to think every single week in the way that you pick your side? Yeah, it's very difficult <laughs> and so everyone who has a little bit knowledge about football a little huh? they know it will affect uh, your results uh, your performance and your results so uh, so back four is always a foundation to get in the results and we didn't have that and but then still we have to win and we know that and so then others has to take the responsibility but uh, when you oversee it yeah, then you know also yeah it has a negative impact uh, Eric, um, if we look back to the previous meeting with Bournemouth, that was obviously the game in December, the 3-0 loss. And after that game, you said um, that you thought as a squad uh, that you weren't good enough to be consistent at that point. Um, how much do you sort of think that's still a problem or to what extent do you think that things have improved in that, in that sense? Uh, it was, in a sense, it was after a very good performance um, against Chelsea in the week. And we were mentally not ready for that game. Eh? And um, they, they, they battled us and we lost the battles. So, and tomorrow will not different. Eh? That is the way uh, they play. 
so they want to fight with you and so it's about yeah, make sure hey, you go in that fight and you have the convincement and you have uh, so the belief and you need to support each other uh, to win the battles and uh, to uh, to over, uh, to outplay them and uh, to outrun them and in defending to match the runs Eric, how frustrating has it been for you as, as the manager to be in winning positions in the last few games and then end up dropping so many points? Uh, that is, of course, is that is that fr frustrating, but it is for me and but for the team as well. And uh, so, the most important part, well, we get it, and uh, to uh, put yourself in a winning position, and also, also and it was not. It was not luck, no, it was, you know, we did it out of a plan. But then, of course, you have to uh, bring the win over the line. And, uh, and we should act in such moments, we should, we should act better. And it's not about organization, uh, but it has to do with uh, individual technical uh, mistakes, sometimes technical, uh, it was not out of open play, uh, but we have to, to manage such situations better.